finances before they begin to give you those practical things is having the right spirit, having the right mentality, having the right structure in your home. So, as it relates to, now did you get this? Yeah. All right, I'm going to erase it because I want to move forward. As it relates to the structure in your home, I think it's important, and I touched on this the last time, where's the eraser? Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. I want to touch on something that I spoke of, which was the area of submission. Now, were any of you there at the church when we talked about submission? All right. Just to recap, I basically said when it comes to the order of the family, the structure of the family is very specific. It's God, it's Christ, it's the man. It's the woman, it's the children. That is the order of the family, period. So when it talks about submission, the Bible says that a woman should submit to a man. Is that not the word? Yeah. Okay, I know that's a cultural challenge for many of us because we come from environments and cultures and backgrounds and households where that wasn't the case. So oftentimes our culture is bucking up against our religious teachings and our beliefs, but the word is the word. But, unfortunately, that is used as a tool of destruction in marriages because we don't continue to read what the scripture ultimately says. The Bible talks about how a husband must, must love his wife like Christ loved the church and all those wonderful things. So this balance. Now, as it relates to submission, submission is not gender specific. And just as a, a woman is required to submit to her husband, who is her higher authority, as it relates to God's order of the family, the husband is also required to submit to his higher authority, which is God. Yes. Now, a woman would never have a problem submitting to a man if that man truly submitted to his God. Amen. And the problem is a lot of us as men don't submit to our God. And so our house is out of order. But submission has always been gender specific. It's always been pointed to the woman. But I'm going to tell you something. Every man that I know on the face of the earth has always submitted to another man. Because if you are ever an employee of a job, you have to submit to your who? Boss. Your boss. If you ever played on a sports team, the, 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 the athlete submits to the who? Oh, Coach. If you've ever been in school, the student submits to the who? Teacher. Teacher. If you belong to a church, as a parishioner, you submit to who? The pastor. the pastor. So submission is operated both in the man and in the woman. But somehow, when we're dealing with the affairs of the heart, and when we're dealing with relational things, we struggle with this idea of submission. But how much more important is it to have submission in the home structure than anywhere else? Because that's the foundation of it all. So, in order to have true submission, I think it's important that we understand what it is. Submission. Let me keep things in one place. Uh, right now. <laughs> Submission. Submission. So you think about a submarine that goes underwater. Under